Saturday is Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day, a celebration stemming from when enslaved people in Texas learned of the Emancipation Proclamation. Three Alabama sisters recently uncovered their ties to the Clotilda, one of the last slave ships to arrive here in the United States. And as WVTM 13's Carla Wade explains, they also learned that activism has run in their family for several generations. Matilda was a miraculous, courageous woman who stood her grounds and who stood for justice. Gwendolyn and Deborah are sisters and Clarice in yellow is their cousin. And they are all descendants of a once enslaved woman named Matilda McCreer, believed to have been the youngest person on board the Clotilda, the last known U.S. slave ship to bring captives from Africa, arriving in Mobile Bay in 1860. It was this letter from a London researcher that introduced them to their great grandmother. Using census and other genealogical data, it links Matilda to her descendants here in Alabama. It begins in 1931, after learning her son would get money from the government for fighting in World War I, Matilda sought payback of her own. She thought that she deserved some compensation as well from being a slave and being brought over here as a slave. Uh, so she walked 17 miles from her home to the county courthouse, Dallas County, Dallas county Courthouse in Selma to uh, go to the judge to seek compensation. And obviously she didn't get anything, but that just shows you how, how determined and courageous she was. This documented event allowed researchers to work backward to the moment Matilda was kidnapped from West Africa at the age of two. You know, but being two years old, and at the bottom of the ship, where she saw people die, she saw them die naturally, she saw them jump overboard, because they didn't know what they were going to face. And for her to see this at two, mm -hmm. and had to grow up with this in her mind, mm -hmm. I, I cannot imagine what it could have done to her. But, it's, and then on the other hand, it seems as if it made her a writer, Stronger, stronger, stronger person. Yeah. These are pictures of three of Matilda's 17 children. Matilda settled in Africa town, but her descendants spread out and are just learning all of the details of her remarkable journey. I feel like that's something that the younger generation need to know. You know, mm. like, you know, what we went through and what our grandparents went through, great grandparents went through, for them to get where they are today. Little did Matilda know when she made that trek to the courthouse, her children and children's children would follow in her footsteps, decades later taking part in the many demonstrations here in Alabama that touched off the civil rights movement. And that's what really sparked us. And us being foot soldiers ourselves, you know, we didn't know that that's where we got our strength and our determination Great. from too. Oh, yes. And to read yes. all of this about Matilda, and you look back in, in our lives, then it tells us a whole lot about ourselves. Carla Wade, WBTM 13.